What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, let's talk about, again, Black Adam. Mr. Black Rock is in the news again. First, he had a, which is, which is something what, that I would do, submitting something that isn't finished or isn't right and then having to resubmit again. I'm telling you, he's in the control room in his house doing all this. <laughs> Brian, um, and now he's talking about, he keeps talking about this, who's, like thank God I'm not in the room too, too cause you'll hear me sucking my teeth and, 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 and sighing all the time, but like, somebody be like, you got a problem? Yeah, I got a big problem. Listen, this Justice League thing is getting out of control now. Now he's talking about, first it was Superman. We don't know if Superman's going to be there. I'm not going to say nothing. Now it's Justice League. I'm going to, if he's ever around, I'm be like, yo, is the Thundercats going to be in this joint? What's going on, Brian? It's like, yo, this dude is doing whatever possible. He's going to, I'm not going to say he's going to the to the theaters, to the screenplays and intimidating people. Well, he did, he did it at a test screening? <laughs> well, he, he was totally there. did it at a test screening. You're telling me the test screen score was legitimate when they found out he was sitting right there? No effing way. <laughs> Everyone's like, all right, that's a 10 out of 10. That's a five star. Like, oh. I'm telling you, man, if I meet him, I have to tell him the truth. Like, yo, this movie's whack, man. This movie's whack. Brian, I know this has gotten you upset. What are your thoughts on this, this, this Dwayne Johnson situation trying to get as many people to the theaters as possibly he can, trying to get people to go to the theaters by suggesting that the possibility of the Justice League showing up. What is wrong with this guy? Because this is going to be, you thought his ego was huge. His, his ego is going to get crushed when those numbers come in. And when he doesn't make a billion dollars on this film. Once we get through Brian's talk about what he feels about all this stuff. We're going to go through a draft, ladies and gentlemen, about if you want 20 years of superhero movies in one film. One trailer, let alone one film. <laughs> Two minutes. We're going to let, we're going to tell you all the movies that are in this film, all the inspiration. But Brian, go ahead. All this Justice oh. League uploading wrong trailers and stuff. What's going on? You know, so The Rock is one of my three favorite wrestlers of all time. Um, so I'm always going to be a fan of, of that and the Attitude Era. Um, you know, his stint as a Hollywood star, and he is a star, make no mistake, has always felt like it's just a little bit off. Like mm -hmm. there's greatness in there, but we've never quite figured out what his lane is as he attempts to be the modern day Schwarzenegger, but isn't quite there. But this movie, I felt like it, it reminds me, to use the wrestling analogy, it, it reminds me of like when Hogan and the Giant finally fought in WrestleMania 3, where it's like they were friends. <laughs> they loved each other. And then in like the tour, it, it started to turn. And then finally, the Giant snaps and attacks Hogan. And I'm like, that's where I'm at with The Rock right now. Like, <laughs> we were friends. I love the guy. But he keeps opening his mouth about this film to the point where now, I got to be honest, like, I don't know if I want it to succeed anymore. Like, up until now, I was like, I want a good movie. I want a good film, no matter what. I still want this to be a good movie. I'm yeah, I not there I, anymore. No, I'm kind I don't of want to see. I'm kind of like, with everything you've done and said here, you kind of deserve it if this is a bomb. And 
it is feeling more and more like it is going to be a bomb. So let's go through the facts and then we'll, we'll dig and have fun with this. So the first warning sign that we really got, long range box office projection appeared for this movie. I've been checking for that for weeks. <laughs> and the projection is 55 to $70 million opening weekend. Okay. That would be one of, if not the worst opening weekends for a superhero movie. Shazam did 57 million opening weekend. If he can't open this movie better than Shazam, that's a wrap for yeah. this character in a franchise. So that's a real concern. And I, and I broke this down for you guys. I've told you for a year, you can go back and find it. We were first started talking about box office and Rock was saying that he wanted this to be a billion dollar movie. What was my odds? Zero. I told you this a year ago. I hadn't even seen any footage. I said it was a zero. Yeah. Now it looks like, and then as we've gotten closer, I've kind of been saying like 500 million, 600 million. Like that's kind of where I've been living. That might even be a little bit aggressive if, if it's a 55 or $60 million opening weekend. So it's a bad sign. Yeah. Um, so that hits. And we know he's aware of that. We know his yeah. people let him know that that's out there. So what happens after that number hits? We get the Black Adam Global Tour. We get another round of rumors that Henry Cavill shot scenes for this. We get a new rumor that Justice League might be in it alongside the Justice Society. He says, you got to wait and find out. <laughs> Come on, man. You are lying to people to yeah. get them to go to the theater because the warning signs are there that this franchise is going to be dead before it even begins. And I'm, I can't stand it. Even as much as I like the rock, I can't stand that kind of BS, yeah, that yeah, BS yeah. hype. Yeah, yeah. And then you mentioned the trailer. So they, they put out this new trailer or half trailer, whatever it was. It's so ironic. The Snyderverse comes for him because there's a scene in there that basically validates the Joss Whedon version of Justice League, not the Zack Snyder version. And the fans lose their minds, but the fans are his boss. The fans are his boss, right? So he, he, he changes the trailer, uploads it and says, fixed. Come on. For someone like, you know what your boss wants. If you don't, You'll get fired. Ten year passion project, Brian? Really? Ten years? We've heard about Black Adam and we haven't seen Jack other than Black Rock. That's all we've seen. And little momentary action sequences with the other character. That none I of, none of whom are having any success against him, by the way. Exactly. And he makes sure to show it to us in the in the train. What more can I say, man? I've said it all. We've said it all. Although Brian is saying more now. <laughs> Cause I I I I, I when, when he says stuff like that, I, I, you know, you're my, you, you guys are my boss and this is a 10 year passion project. Yo, I have passion projects. It don't take 10 years without some progress. And then when we finally get to the moment, when you say the first time, this is, this is after I thought you were doing Temple Run, you said, the hierarchy of power is about to change. Oh, that line is going to be fed back to him in a couple of weeks. And, and then he, he presents Black Adam. Did we get an actual trailer? Because I forget. We got, a, we got a motion graphic thing, right? We didn't get the actual trailer. Did we? You mean at the original fandom? Well, yes. Yeah. It was, it, was a, it was like pages out of a comic book. Two-dimensional. 10 year passion project, and that's the first thing we see. Let's move on. Brian, 
Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't let this Justice League thing go because. Oh, okay, okay. So we talked many times about the the Rock Henry Cavill link, same agent, you know, his ex wife. Um, still, you know, growing rumors, but still TBD. Is he in it? Is he not? And then you get, and then the 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 Justice League thing got hatched because this trailer, which he fixed similar to the Shazam trailer, has these little clips of the Snyder characters. Okay, so all you people out there who are like, oh, look at this. He's got the Justice League. He, he's so powerful that he's made WB run the whole Snyderverse. Back. Okay. <laughs> so just <laughs> think about what, and then he says, is the Justice League in the movie? Well, you just got to show up and see. Okay. So you got a two and a half hour film. Here's what we know. He's in it. A <laughs> lot. Okay. We also know they have already planned multiple spin-offs of the Justice Society characters in from this film. They already banked it. They're like assuming it's gonna happen. So now, for all you people who are hyped about this idea, you are suggesting that you would further like to see six more characters from the Zack Snyder verse dropped into this same movie, which supposedly includes Sayback, but we've only seen his like fist from behind. Yeah. If you have a two and a half hour movie that is 90% going to feature Dwayne Johnson and then going to have a Justice Society and the old Justice League, that movie is trash. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> String fighter. Tell me what scenario that's a good movie, a legit good movie. There's no possible way. First off, I don't think they're in it. I think that's absolute. That's what really annoyed me. I think that's absolute crap that you're trying to pedal to get the opening weekend higher. That's all you're trying yeah. to do. Yeah. But if they were in it legitimately, there's no way that it improves the movie. It's yeah. cluttered. It yeah. would be a mess. Yeah. No chance. So think about what you're asking for when you're like, oh my God, the Justice League is coming back in Black Adam. Stop. Like, if, I, I mean, these people, I mean, these, you got, you got not, you got this, you got Gal Gadot talking about stuff. And it's like, yo, who's, who's, who's talking to you about this stuff? You know, because this is getting ridiculous in terms of some of these actors saying, oh, I want to do this. I want to fight this guy. Who, nobody cares about that, yo. Nobody cares. Nobody. The only, only person that cares is the person that asked. But nobody cares after that. Do you want to go into the draft? Or do you let's have... Do we, we have to do this because... Listen, we've been, do, mean, we've been wanting to do this for a minute. We didn't make the content, okay? Yeah. We didn't make it this way. <laughs> As you said, this is a movie 15 years in the making. I think we now know why it was 15 years in the making. Because <laughs> he had taken notes. He had taken notes or whatever else did. This scene, and when he had enough, he had scene. enough scenes, <laughs> he made the movie. I would, you, 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 you want me to say what I... Go ahead. I mean, this is okay. the kind of draft word. I don't really know if it matters if you get the number one yeah, pick. Yeah, 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 by yeah, all means, yeah, yeah. go ahead. Because yeah. this we, you, people will get the gist of what we're doing here in a second. When I saw this movie, all I was doing was listing the movies it reminded me of. This reminded me of Black Panther. What? Okay, so that's your number one pick. Explain what, what about it. So the opening, some of the opening scenes with the plane flying over some ice land or something like that, you get Hawkman jumping um, or, or, or uh, dropping yeah. down similar to the way Black Panther did it. And the not music. similar, not similar. The same exactly. thing. <laughs> Even the ship looks the same. The music, same thing. You get Iron Man. Oh, so you got another oh, one? Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. All right, so I'll, I'll, you, you, let me take that. I'll, I'll take that as the number two pick. Iron, Iron Man okay. 1. Yes. Big action set piece that were introduced. Hmm. There's the hero flying in the center. There's two fighter jets on either side. 
I wonder what he's going to do. Oh, he's going to destroy <laughs> one of the Jets. It's the exact same scene as Tony oh. Stark in Iron Man 1 when he's flying yes. through the air and talking to Rhodes on the phone. So, okay, yes. so you have Black Panther. I have Iron Man. That's our first two picks. I'll but... probably say, I'm going to play, I'm going to probably say something you probably didn't think of. Superman 2. Oh, all right. Let's, when the when, when when I forget the dude's name, the dude that didn't speak, the mute Nine. guy, Nine. Nine. The big guy? when he caught yeah. the the rocket launcher. Oh, that's right. Good call. Right. So I was like, that's Superman too. Go ahead, you next. <laughs> oh, that's, that's gonna be number one. That's a, that's a, that's a high level pick. All right. I for my second pick, you know what? I think I wanna I wanna power. So I'm going to steal Ed Norton's Incredible Hulk clap, which he uses against all the troops in the desert. It is exactly the same move that Hulk used to put out the fire. Yes. Save Betty. The clap. Yes. Yes. So that, yes. Yes. The Hulk clap. I didn't see that one. Um, that's a good catch. Uh, what else? Um, a little bit of Transformers. <laughs> okay. Um, when I think there was two regular humans just running, and just the the, the shot looked very similar to Shia LaBeouf and uh, Megan Fox running in, in, in one of their sequences. So, so, so we got so right now we got Black Panther, Transformers, uh, Superman, two, Iron Man, and Superman Iron Man two, and Hulk, and Incredible Hulk, and Hulk. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you, you did you did visuals. I'll stay on visuals. So I'm going to do Man of Steel. So I think, I've said this in the beginning, the color palette, the lightning effects, the graining you see on the screen, very like Zack Snyder-like to me, but not as skilled as what Zack would deliver. So I think it's weird, but I think this movie really has like a Man of Steel kind of look and feel to the way he's moving like even in that scene in, in the crypt where he's like moving at super speed, yeah. that looks just like um, Feora when she's fighting those troops in Smallville. Like it's not slowed down or anything. So yeah, I'll go Man of Steel visual palette after you said kind of the Transformers visual palette. Uh, Superman won when the guy hits him with the crowbar. Yes. Good call. And, and it does nothing. Yeah. Next. Spider-Man 2. Amazing Spider-Man 2. Is that Electro I see in the middle? He, the, the electricity effect looks just like Jamie Foxx. The scene where Foxx is kind of like being raised up. Yeah, 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 yeah. In this yeah, case, yeah, yeah. He's, I guess he's got Adam Smasher running behind him, but the way they shoot the camera where he's kind of, the camera's like below him, so it almost looks like he's floating, and the electricity fills his eyes and goes all around. Yeah. It looks just like Electro. Yeah, yeah. Spider-Man 2. I think... That's all I got. That's all I got. Oh, you have more? One, yeah, oh, wow. I have one more. I have one more really big one and two smaller ones. Okay. Can I sell you Charles Xavier's mansion? Oh, yeah. When the jet my, comes out the same bad. way. My when bad. The justice, yeah. that, that is a, first off, that CGI is terrible. <laughs> Second of all, that is the X-Men's jet. That is Xavier's <laughs> school for gifted youngsters. The Justice Society is squatting. Yo, are you? If no one, if none of you can see this, and you're sitting there saying to yourself that you're excited for this film, having seen all of it already, just with different characters, perhaps a different color palette, and this The Rock doing. It. First of all, I don't believe he can speak perfect English, but The Rock sounded like The Rock. Brian, this is going to be a disaster. For anybody to... That's like two and a half... Basically, between two trailers, it's like three minutes of footage. And we just gave you at least 10 ripoffs <laughs> of other superhero films. Like, And there's a couple more of the smaller ones. Like People mention like when they show him in the water tank, that's like uh, Wolverine um, in the water tank. Yeah. Doc, yeah. Now, this one I have less of a problem with, but Dr. Fate's special effects look a lot like Doctor Strange, which actually sort of is right because they are kind of the equivalent characters, Marvel versus DC. Yeah, but yeah. people point out the mirror dimension effects look very similar to the Strange mirror dimension. Point people, this looks very formulaic. It looks very retread. 
Yes. And like, if you don't see the similarities to where they, these aren't any similarities. That's an insult to similarities. These are like copies of scenes. You, if, if, uh, listen, if nobody sees this and they enjoy this movie, even though we've seen much of it already, then you're nothing but a, a, a rock fan. That's it. That's it. You're nothing but a rock fan. And you will accept anything he does. But you won't yeah. hold him accountable. You can, see, we are fans of The Rock. That's the thing. That's the irony. But we're also fans of great product and great content. You got to call it like we see it. Right. It's like, I, I, I get so frustrated with, with people being I mean, And I shouldn't be excited with people getting excited for this film. I shouldn't be uh, upset with people getting excited for this film. It's not that. It's that people are not seeing the things that we're seeing. Yeah, and like we look, we're, this is not a category of ripoffs, but the category of problems. You know, we spend so much time wondering: Is Henry Cavill in it? Is he not? Is Superman in it? Is he not? That I don't think people have fixated on the rumor about how he's in it. So the rumor is it's in the cut scene, and the rumor is that Amanda Waller, so Viola Davis, is effectively trying to recruit Black Adam while he's sitting on his throne after the battle's been won. I guess with Sabac. And Black Adam basically turns her down, says he doesn't want to join the team. And I guess Waller kind of quasi threatens him. And as she threatens him, you see Superman appear behind her. Since when are Amanda Waller and Superman, and Superman on the same page? Am I missing something here? What version of the what version of Superman and Justice League it, does that happen on a regular basis? I'm telling you, man. This is written by The Rock, starring The Rock, directed by The Rock, edited by The Rock, everything. And whatever. This movie's gonna bomb, this movie's gonna suck, and I'm gonna be right here telling you all about it. How long was our, how long was our Batman show? Was it like two hours? Because we might like two that. hours. If this movie, if this movie is... <laughs> Hey, we might go. We might go. We might actually run a mini series. <laughs> it deserves it, man. It deserves it because it's like you know how we get in, get on people for saying, "Oh, this is going to be amazing." And and yeah, Tom Holland. We always make fun of him. Yeah, it's, yeah. It happened with uh, Bubba Fett. Uh, it happened with Marvel talking about D twenty three is we saving yeah. the big one. You know what I'm saying? And they. But this is egregious here. Exactly. And people are like, I, I, again, I understand you're a rock fan, but yo, it's like, come on, man. This is, I hope it fails. And because, the reason why I hope it fails is because if it does a billion dollars, if it does well, the fate of the DC universe is in his hands. I know. Yeah. And good luck with that, my friends. Good luck with that. Let us know in the conversation below. What you can go, you can you can say all you want about us being haters or whatever. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about none of that. Just remember when you say that we didn't make the trailer, and we didn't say all these things. Yeah. Like, this is just what people are saying, and I know I noticed it when as soon as I saw it, I noticed it. But then other people were saying the same thing. This is not nothing new. People are just not talking about it because I, I'm telling you, Sugar Night 2.0. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, 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 it's going to be very interesting to see the reviews on this, Brian. Um, I, like I said, I, my prediction from the beginning has been there'll be, it'll wind up about 50%, like 40 to 50% for Rotten Tomatoes. That's my guess. Average. Okay. Let us know in the comment section below. Again, it's very important to hit that like and subscribe button and actually comment and tell us what you think. Uh, because when is this coming out again? Two weeks after? October 21st. So that will, and then Wakanda Forever, I think, is officially the third week uh, of this movie. So they, you know, that's the thing, too. Like I said, it, it has to come out big. And that's why I can see through what he's doing. That's why I'm like, I'm asking you people to be like, can't you see what he's really doing here? He knows he has three <laughs> weeks, three weeks to make his bank before he gets yeah. wiped by yeah. Wakanda forever. So 
yeah, that thing has to be 300, 350 global in the opening weekend. And if it's 55 to 70 in the US, that means the global take's gonna be less than 200, which means this movie's done. Before we sign off, Brian, I wanna pose a question to you to see how you would react to this or how would you handle the situation. Suppose you were the lucky person to sit at the screening and Mr. BlackRock is asking you, what did you think? What will you tell him? How would you handle, how, how, would you be honest in your opinion about the movie if he were to, were to ask you? Yeah, I mean, I think I think I would. I mean, I don't think I'd be quite as quite as uh, cheeky as we've ever been on this show. <laughs> but, but I think, but I would. Like, Joe was whack, yo. But no, I, I think, look, but I would be honest. And with run him, away. Like, but here, I would be honest with him, and, and the place where I can safely start, and it is, I said from the beginning, the thing I wanted to see was. The, the DNA of this character is anti-hero to villain. I wanted to see the cinematic version of the corporate champion. That's what I wanted. That's what I think this character demanded. And that's what I would tell him disappoints me the most about the trailer is what I see is the Hollywood heroic rock in the Black Adam suit, looking yeah. and sounding the way The Rock has sounded in all of his other movies where he's a hero. Yeah. That would be my number one feedback to him. Like, I don't, everything else that happens is whatever. Like you are like, you know, you're the star and you're the anchor and you have more range than this. And you chose not to use it for a character that needed, yeah. needed that all the edge and all the kind of moral ambiguity and all the bad side that you were so great at in the WWE. And honestly, we're great at initially as Hobbs in, in Fast and Furious, right? Like that's what yeah. you needed. Yeah. That would be my number one piece of feedback. The rest, like the ripoff stuff, I can point that out, but like, you know, I, the num this, at the end of the day, even if there wasn't any ripoffs, that fundamental problem automatically in my mind is gonna make this movie impossible to be great because he's chosen not to live outside his usual persona well, at least that's what it seems like yeah i don't know if i would be as eloquent as you ryan telling him that this movie what this movie was was for me in terms of describing it to him i i don't think i would be as eloquent I, I, and then i would tell him if this movie doesn't do if this movie doesn't do well i want you to take a year off because you're the hardest working man in hollywood <laughs> take a break and i want you to Think about how you can remake Predator. The, Ryan, yeah, didn't, well, didn't we have a discussion about that? We did, but that's the, of all the movies you could choose to update. Think about how you could up, find the co-stars and the, and the story to re-update, not necessarily remake, because there's a, because Prey is actually pretty good. They've kind of updated Predator as a franchise, but that idea, yeah. find that and reboot your career as that.